Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, thank you for watching. So I'm so excited that I'm finally bringing you all a new styling haul. I'm so sorry that it's been so long since I've gotten around to do one. I think with moving house and getting the house ready and just life got turned upside down a little bit, but I've come back with a really good one, I promise. I have done a lot of online shopping and I've picked out a huge amount of things that are perfect for autumn. So if you would like to see some of the recent things that I've bought and how I'm going to be styling them for autumn, then please keep watching. So I thought I would start off with an outfit that involves a black turtleneck top. Now, the reason I say this is because I think this is going to become an absolute styling staple in autumn and winter. I've already worn this to death, like with everything. So as you can see here, I am just wearing it with a pair of jeans. Put it on just so you can see it in all its glory before I end up styling it up. The jeans I'm wearing here are actually ASOS. They are from the ASOS tool, which I think I've mentioned before. I always buy my jeans from the ASOS tool. As you guys may know, I am five for eight but the ASOS tool models are 5 foot 11, but I just love the way that when you buy ASOS tool jeans, they're super long and they're super high-waisted. So a little bit of a tip for buying jeans if you've never tried the tall ones. They are really good because they're always super long. And I feel like that really sort of like long leg jean is really in at the moment. So yeah, I absolutely love them. So the boots that I'm wearing with this look are, so these are actually some of my recent purchases. I picked these ones up from ASOS, but they are actually mango. I love them. I love them because they've got that real sort of Prada sole on them. But I like them because they've got a bit more of a pointed toe. Very true to size, so don't worry about sizing up on them. Um, by the way, when it comes to sizing, as always, I'll write the size of everything I'm wearing below next to all the links so you guys know. Um, so, yeah, so I've worn those boots to death since they have arrived. Um, but then with this outfit, I wanted to put on this amazing fluffy coat from ASOS. It's so dreamy. It's literally just like a, it's like a cuddle. It's just a massive cuddle. It's the way, best way to describe this. As you can see here, it's just so amazing. The thing I love about this is it's quite oversized, so it means that you can actually fit jumpers and things like that underneath, because there's nothing worse than when you buy a coat and you can't fit like layers underneath it. So yeah, so that coat is extremely dreamy. But as always, here is a full length of that outfit altogether for you guys to see it in the mirror. Because you know, as I always say, I feel like it's easier to show the outfits off in a mirror selfie. So for this next outfit, I've kept that same black top on, which I've actually just realized I didn't say where it's from. It's from H&M, but of course I will link it below for you guys anyway. I feel like H&M in the winter is so good for basics. I mean, they're great all year round, but in winter it's like the sort of, like even the jumper that I'm wearing here, this is from H&M, which I'll link below as well. Um, but I just love them for sort of simple jumpers, tops, things like that, so good. So the trousers that I'm wearing with this look, I am completely obsessed with. When they arrived, I was just like, these are amazing. So again, these are from the ASOS tool and they're coated sort of like a, a crocodile print on them. I love how shiny they are, they're almost painted because they're so shiny. The thing I love about this outfit is actually just with the, the top and the trousers it makes such a cool outfit but obviously you do need something to warm yourself up. But the shoes I'm wearing with this look are my Air Jordans. These are the black and white ones, which I know they are quite hard to find. So I'll do my best to link some below. But I actually got these off a website called Stop, which helps you find trainers and stuff that are harder to find. So it's quite, maybe I'll just link the website that I got them from anyway, because it's a really good website. And then over the top, I have put this amazing trench coat. So I also think trench coats are gonna be everywhere. Um, I already have two that I'm gonna show you in this haul. But this one I absolutely love. It's so oversized. I think on ASOS, it's actually called boyfriend trench coat but it's absolutely amazing I'm obsessed with the fit of it it's so oversized I'm wearing this one in a size 10 so I didn't size up in it but it's got a really nice sort of oversized fit to it anyway the color of it's amazing the thing I love about this one is it's a classic trench coat but because it's oversized it makes it just like a little bit cooler so um, yeah I really really love this one and so the bag I started with this actually from H&M I literally picked this up this morning um, I walked past it and I saw it in the window and I was like that is so cool it reminds me of the Dior bag that's like shaped like this the thing I love about this bag is you can make it super long or super short um, which just sort of allows you to kind of wear it over your shoulder if you want to do sort of more of like a shoulder look but you can also wear it as a crossbody and so here is the full length of that outfit in the mirror so that you guys can see it in all its glory. So next up we have the dreamiest leather dress and this one is from ASOS. It's absolutely amazing. So I got this one in a size 10 so I just sized up one size just so it was a little bit bigger and I'm so in love with it. It's so soft. The quality of it's amazing for the price. I'm so so impressed with it. To make this slightly more wintry I put a turtleneck underneath this. This turtleneck that I'm wearing here this one's actually from Pull and Bear um, but I got it from ASOS. This one's got just like a little bit more of a thicker neck on it so it's quite nice to have different sort of 
neck lengths in your wardrobe just for like different styling purposes bit weird to say neck lengths but you know what I mean I just love this I kind of wanted to do this one as more of an, an out out outfit because obviously I know that going out in winter it can be hard to know what to wear because you don't want to be freezing cold so that's why I put the top on underneath just to kind of winter it up a little bit okay so the shoes I'm wearing with this are my new obsession they are these white boots so these are from pretty little thing I think they look so so designer like so designer they are so soft as well, they feel amazing. I've worn them so much since they arrived, I'm actually obsessed with them. So I've worn them here with this outfit just to show you guys a bit more of a dressier way to style this leather dress. You could also though wear this dress with those sort of like sheer tights, you know where they're black but they're not fully black so you can kind of see your skin colour through them. And some boots similar to like the chunky boots in this haul if you didn't want to go for like a dressy look. But I just had to get those white boots into this haul because they are my new favourite things. So I've styled this outfit up with this ASOS bag. I got this a few months ago so I'm hoping it's still online. Um, I will link it if it is. But I just love it because of this big chain strap. I use this bag so much, like so much. And so here is the full mirror picture of the outfit so that you guys can see. But yeah, I'm just obsessed with this dress. It's so nice. Next up, I had to do an outfit that involved an oversized leather jacket because it would be very weird of me to do a haul that didn't involve of a leather jacket. As you guys may know if you've seen some of my other ones, I do have a slight obsession with them. So, the base of this outfit I absolutely love. So this jumper is from H&M and I just, I got it because I'm obsessed with the colour. I love how bright the blue is and it's just a bit fun and I also like the sort of like college style. Um, a lot of my vintage jumpers are sort of this college style so I was like, it's quite nice. This like a high street version of sort of a vintage vibe jumper. Um, the jeans that I'm wearing here are also from H&M. These jeans are amazing. H&M denim is so good. Uh, the fit of these is honestly incredible. So yeah, so I thought I'd just show you this on its own before I put the leather jacket on. I just want to show you guys the boots that I'm styling with this outfit. So these boots are from Pull and Bear, but I got them from ASOS. And then I put the leather jacket on over the top. So this leather jacket is actually from Zara. It was bought a while ago, but. Zara leather jackets never change, they're always the same and I'm pretty sure I'll be able to find one very very similar so I'll do my best to link the exact one but if not I will link one very similar. So the leather jacket I'm actually wearing in a large to extra large, I always buy my leather jackets in the biggest size possible pretty much within reason, um, just because I just way prefer them to be oversized. And then here is a full length mirror picture of that outfit all together, so you guys can see. Next up, we have a turtleneck knitted jumper dress, which is also something that I think everyone should have in their wardrobe for this autumn winter, because they are just good styling staples. You can put them underneath pretty much everything, coats, blazers, jumpers, whatever it is, they will come in handy. So with this, we're wearing these black tights. So these are super in at the moment, and it is great to sort of winter up a dress. As soon as you put on a pair of tights, it just instantly looks more wintry, you know? Over the top of it, I am wearing the SLA black blazer, which I am obsessed with. If you saw my recent SLA haul, you will have seen that it's from the new collection. Um, there's coming many other colours, but I've explained all that in the other video, so I won't go on about them. Um, but yeah, so this blazer will be launching within like the next two weeks. And then with this look, I have just put the mango boots on for more of a sort of casual look, but you could actually wear these with a more of a heeled boot for like an evening look, and it would work really, really well. And then here is a full length mirror picture of that outfit together, so you guys can see. Okay, so I love this next outfit for two reasons. One of which, because I've managed to find the perfect oversized hoodie to wear under blazers. Most hoodies, they sort of like, I don't know, they go in a bit tighter at the bottom, so when you wear them with blazers or under coats or things like that, something about them doesn't look quite right. Anyway, so I found this hoodie from ASOS, so it's Collusion, and it kind of just is like really baggy and loose fitting all the way down, and so because of that, it looks amazing underneath blazers, and yeah, I feel like I'm gonna wear this hoodie a lot in winter, it's just so good. So I'm actually wearing this in a size 10, it's oversized already, so you don't really need to size up. I am actually wearing underneath this a pair of the black SLA cycling shorts. Yes, I managed to get cycling shorts into my styling haul somehow or another. It would feel weird for me if cycling shorts were not in a styling haul. And then over the top, I'm wearing this amazing Zara blazer. So this I got really recently. It's just, I mean, I feel like my blazer obsession is getting out of control, but I'm not mad about it because I just love blazers. This is amazing because it's a bit more of a boxy fit. It's also open at the back. It's got like this sort of crisscrossy situation here which I think helps to make it look a bit more boxy um, but yeah I just absolutely love it as you can see here it works so well over the top of pretty much anything and then the other reason why I'm so excited about this outfit is because of these boots so these are the dreamy khaki green Zara boots that have been taking over Instagram I'm sure you've seen them before 
I'm obsessed with them. Um, I would love to think that they're still online. I will obviously link them or at least put the product code or something um, because they are amazing. But I know what Zara's like when something becomes like an Instagram fan favorite, you can't get them anywhere. Who'd have thought that welly boots basically were gonna be in fashion? I did not see that one coming, I'm not gonna lie, but I'm not mad about it. And then here is a full length of the boots in all their glory with the blazer. This is like, a, this is my favorite kind of outfit because it's an oversized blazer and boots and just dreaminess, you know? So this next outfit is actually what I'm calling like matrix chic. It literally, I look like the guy from the matrix. So underneath this, I'm wearing the H&M turtleneck top because I feel like if I wore the one that's got slightly more of a roll neck, it would really look very matrix. That's what I mean about having different neck options because they do look different. They give like a different vibe. The jeans I'm wearing with this though are amazing. So these are from Stradivarius. I feel like I've never said that out loud before. I think that's how you say it. Um, but they're from, I got them from ASOS. They're, so there's this straight leg, really sort of 90s jean. They fit really well and they're so soft. So I'm wearing these again with my Air Jordans. I feel like these sort of 90s style trousers, jeans, work really well with Air Jordans. So if you haven't got a pair, maybe think of investing because they are really cool to style up. I love them. But then over the top of this, so this is where the matrix comes in, if you haven't already guessed, is this oversized leather trench coat. So this is from Weekday, but it's from ASOS and I love it. So with this, I have tied the straps around the back of the coat. I just feel like it helps to sort of open it up the front slightly um, and just sort of like cinch it in a little bit. So you can wear it two ways. You could just leave it obviously all untied. It would just be really oversized, which is super cool. If you tie the ties at the back, it does help to do something or another. I'm not really sure what we call it, just kind of cinching. And then so to really add to the matrix chic, I thought I should pair up, put on a pair of black sunglasses. These are my recent Balenciaga purchase. I do love them. I've worn them so much. I just, yeah, I don't normally buy designer sunglasses because I always get worried that I'm going to lose them or break them, but these ones just have to be mine. I'm just obsessed with them. Here is the full length mirror picture of this all together so that you guys can see. But I'm hoping you guys will agree with me that these jeans are so nice. I honestly love them. So the last outfit is a bit of a H&M number. The jeans, the top and the jacket are all H&M but I love them so underneath this which you can't really see in this is this black t-shirt so this is literally just a plain black tee from H&M but it's a really good one but I'm wearing over the top of this this like teddy fleece I absolutely love this it's really simple but I just love the way it looks it's definitely one of those more sort of real casual outfits but you know me, I do love a casual vibe, so I wanted to get something really, really casual in there. This also looks, you can kind of wear it open or done up, but I really love the way it looks actually when it is all done up. Because it is oversized, it fits nicely, so it allows you to sort of do it up and it look cool and all that kind of stuff. And then so with this, I'm wearing those pull and bear boots again. These ones work so well with these H&M jeans because they're a little bit taller, these boots, and the jeans are not quite as long. But yeah, together it just works really well. And then so here is a full length mirror picture of that outfit in the mirror. But I just love this teddy fleece thing. It's just honestly, it was like a last minute purchase that I put in my H&M basket. But I'm actually really pleased I did. So there we go, guys. They are all the outfits I have to show you in today's styling haul. As always, I really hope you have enjoyed this. And please let me know below which outfit was your favorite because I'm always interested to know. As I said at the beginning, I will of course link everything below, write the sizes of everything I'm wearing just in case you were wondering. And I will try my best to find alternatives if the thing I'm wearing is sold out. Give the video a thumbs up if you have enjoyed this and I promise I will not be so long between styling halls now, now that we're semi-settled. I mean, the house still looks like a bomb site, but let's not even talk about that. That's a whole other video. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.